I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars, Leo. Now, most of the activity this week in the astral chart is happening in your solar 12th house. So this is an area where you can really get in touch with your inner self and your soul level and certainly your intuitive senses. It's a good time to plan and to really you know, figure out what it is in your life that you want, what changes you want to make in your life and you know, make plans and reassess where you are, where you want to be and how you're going to get there. Okay. Now, now, um, there's a couple of things that are happening in the transits that are happening in this area of your chart this week. So first of all, Jupiter is going to transit into this area and that's going to be a 12 month stay. Very good for imagination and uh, instincts as I said and to just to get in touch with the inner you and who you are. So it's very good for that. Um, Mercury, the planet of communication, media, uh, is also um, in this area of your chart and it does go retrograde this week. So Mercury goes retrograde for about three times, a, three or four times a year for about three weeks a year. Now when Mercury is retrograde, now we'll talk more about this in the overview weekly message, it's a time when mix-ups can happen. Okay, so you, you want to be careful about what you, what you do. Think before you speak great time for you to really tune into your instincts. If it feels right, go ahead. If it doesn't, don't. Okay. Pay attention to that. Now, Venus is going to transit into your sign at this week to the end of the week of the Friday on the 28th. This is a great time for love. When Venus is in your time, I always think that, you know, Cupid is just that little bit closer. It's also, Venus also governs uh, money, uh, uh, love and money and relationship. So um, it's a good time just to form relationships and get out there and network on a business level, socialize on a personal level. Okay. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.